they are still 10th in the league, which I'm, I'm sure you would say is, is not acceptable for a club of Arsenal's stature. But do you see uh, this, is, that this is a team that's, that's making progress under Mikel Arteta? First and foremost, I, I would say yes, in a way, because I, I think Mikel bought himself some time by winning the FA Cup last year. And I know people will tell me, yeah, that's last year. But on the way, on, on, on the way of winning it, the team that he won against, I think, bought him some time with the Arsenal fans and with the team, because at the end of the day, you have something to show at the end of the season. Now, what I think the team is lacking is consistency. And I know people always use the word consistency, it's a big word, but this is what they need to do. I, I, I sometimes put it down to their games. Sometimes I watch the first half of Arsenal, it seems like they don't believe that they can win. And then when they're in a situation where they need to come back and have a go, it looks like, well, why didn't you start like that? So yesterday, you could see that they wanted to win the game. I think that Tottenham also made it a tiny bit easier for them on the day. Um, but I can see a progress. But now we need to move on to consistency. Uh, that's going to be very key. And I think that Mikel does have a good squad. And you saw it yesterday for whatever reason that I'm not going to comment that that's on him. He left, he left Obama Young out. But you see Labrack has it. He went on to win against Leicester. Both teams played in Europa League. And you could see he could interchange the team and Leicester couldn't on the day. So, but I like the way he set up the team yesterday. If you look at the position of the three strikers that he put inside with, with the guy that stayed high and wide, he played almost a, a, a two, three, five on the ball. People were going forward more often than not. The, the intensity was there. The desire of winning the game was there. And I think that team, when they play like that, when they play on the front foot and they go forward, they can beat any team in the league. But you think the squad is, is good enough to be doing better than they are? You think they could be potentially right higher now, at the table? Right now, I think the squad is good. Can he be better? Yes. Was there any progress? I think there was a progress. Is there any structure? Are they doing better? The table doesn't lie at the end of the day, right? You're still behind Tottenham, although you won yesterday. You're still behind Tottenham. You're still behind a lot of teams. But it is a process. He said it himself. It is a process that soon, soon that's going to explode. Hopefully, it will explode very soon. But consistency needs to happen pretty quickly. What's your take on it? I see progress, yeah. I like what I see from uh, Mikel Arteta coming in last season, being very pragmatic, because he had to. He won in the FA Cup, they beat, beat uh, big teams. Actually, look on the back of yesterday, this graphic in terms of, you know, up against the big six sides, how often we came on the show and analysed Arsenal in these big games. And let's not forget, in the previous 19 games, you'd probably see the team in the squad was better than what Mikel Arteta's got right now. So how he's actually done in the big games and also dominated some of the big games. So they didn't play yesterday as they did last season. They were on the front foot, they dominated Tottenham, they looked like a big team, played like a big team. And when you actually look at the goals conceded, you can't quite believe that the numbers they conceded. So there's an organisation there as well. Yes, I think Mikel Arteta is fortunate in that. Sooner or later, when Wenger goes and then Unai Emery comes in and he changes quickly, Whoever the next manager was, was always going to get time. Arsenal couldn't be seen as a team who was just changing the manager every 12 months. So I think that helps Mikel Arteta. But I think with a couple of signings in the summer, like every team would say. But I also think in January, getting moving uh, Mesut Ozil on, Socrates, Guendouzi, uh, Mustafi at the back as well. That almost again brings a feel-good factor to the club when you're moving players on who aren't good enough. And big earners as well. So I think summer's big for them. But no, I'm impressed with what they're doing.